a Romer 310 BHS by Open Range here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, and this is absolutely one of the finest, classiest uh, big bunkhouses you're going to run into. Obviously, the thing looks pretty big because it is pretty big. These things are extra tall, they're extra wide, they have extra deep slide outs. Everything in an open range is larger. Um, what's amazing is that when this is just uh, fully open, when the slides are fully open, it's basically the same width as like uh, a big $90,000 fifth wheel with slides on both sides. They're extra big. Now there are so many unique qualities to this. That's what I like to hone in on. On most of my videos, I like to focus on the three or four things that make each layout or each brand unique. On an open range, I really have to cut it down because almost every square inch of this coach has unique qualities not found on other things. Real quick, I do want to mention the interior color schemes or options and things you see on this coach that are not standard. Um, you know, uh, th this video is not designed to represent every single 310 BHS we have in stock. So if the pictures look a little different, you understand why. However, this big, what, roughly 22 foot awning is a standard part of this layout. And what's nice is they do have a, uh, a uh, LED element built right into the awning too, but it's very handy and easy to use. Uh, you see that your bathroom roof vents have the max air cover built right in. That's going to allow you to leave your vents open in the rain. And uh, this antenna here looks a little different. Looks kind of like a little... Um, stingray in a sense but uh, long story short it's just a different type of antenna that works a lot better and gets fantastic results um, these have extra tall baggage doors you notice that they have the easy one hand operating uh, slam latches so that you don't have to kind of be a circus, a circus act to juggle these things open now these are extra big baggage compartments uh, so it's really easy to load some big stuff in there and on both sides of the coach there is LED lighting and notice the power outlets out here if you want to throw a little mini fridge or something up here you can easily do that front and rear stabilizers feature these JT strong arm bracers this is an option but it is a heck of an option if you get on Google and research how do I keep my camper more sturdy on my campsite it's the million dollar question because every camper is different there is no one answer but almost everybody's going to tell you these things are an awesome place to start um this has an enclosed underbelly and what's incredible even in travel trailers every single open range product is zero degree tested for extended season camping to me that is absolutely incredible and i was really amazed i started just really i was gonna let's see what this thing's made of this is the sturdiest nose cap i have ever encountered and we sell a lot of different brands here. I mean, if you just do a quick pass around, you don't see the same name uh, kick up twice. You know, we have Coachman's and Forest Rivers and Keystones and Jayco's, and there are still so many unique, amazing qualities on this coach. It's just impressive as all get out. Now, uh, a lot of laminated trailers, a lot of smooth skin fiberglass trailers, they only laminate the side walls. They don't laminate the, the floor or the rear wall or even the sides of the slide outs. However, with an open range, that's not the case. When things are laminated, they're stronger, they're more structural, um, they, uh, they're insulated. If the sidewalls or the slides are not insulated, then the slide is not insulated. So you basically have a giant 14 foot hole in the wall that's letting out all your hot air. Um, now I mentioned, and I don't know how well it translates to video, but these are extra deep slide outs. Uh, average travel, well most travel trailers, big travel trailers, have 36 inch deep slides only in their living room super slide. But you'll notice that in, in this open range here, we have two 42 inch deep slides, two extra deep slides to give you just a massive uh, living space. And you have one in the living room super slide, one back here in the bunkhouse to give you a huge living area. When it's really awesome is on a rainy day when you're stuck inside, you're golden. Now what's incredible is this is actually a four slide version of this floor plan. It's one of the few of its kind. We do like to put the rear ladder on the back here because this does have a truly walkable roof, easy to maintain. Um, this right here, if you see one of these, that by the way, is the uh, prep system for a Furion backup wireless camera. It's very handy, very cool stuff. This is a model with a full outdoor kitchen as you see right here. So uh, once again, everything on an open range goes a step above and beyond. First of all, I'm 6'3", I'm super tall, and you see how much headroom is above my head here. You don't have to duck under this coverage here. Um, they build the door extra tall just to be very functional. Now, most outdoor kitchens, you get the stove top, the outdoor fridge, the sink, but they also include stuff like a microwave. They include stuff like very deep, very functional cabinetry and this blew me away even out here outside in an outdoor kitchen they're still using nicer hidden hinge cabinetry very nice stuff now out here 
you hear that's a solid surface type countertop too. So it's not T molded, it's not press board, it's not going to swell when it's exposed to moisture, which outside, not if, but when, it will be. And I like that everything just sort of tucks away nice and clean. And I love that we get the big dad's medicine cabinet. We get the full size refrigerator, not the little one. Uh, let's hop inside here. Man, there's a bunch of stuff outside I still haven't even talked about. These things are amazing. Let me turn on some lights here for you. There we go. Now, uh, here in the slide out, in this model, you see we've got this gigantic party sofa. But what's cool, uh, let me turn on a little more light here. It's kind of overcast today. The sky can't make up its mind if it's bright or not. There we go. So again, your color options can vary uh, from model to model, but um, you see these two little black circles here in the floor. Well, under both sides of the dining uh, of the sofa, there's these handy pull-out areas here that have uh, self-storing tabletops. There's one for each piece. So you can have like one table going, one is a lounge, you can have both tables going, you can have no tables going. Now this middle section here is a fold open air mattress hide bed and they use a residential grade air bed. They don't use the camper bed that's been known to go flat for quite some time. So again, I wanna mention, this is extra deep slide. This is an extra deep slide and the entire coach is wide body. Most travel trailers are 98 inches wide. This is 100 inches wide, it's, it's wider. Uh, so you have a wider body plus wider slides. This thing is about 12 to 14 inches bigger then another travel trailer with a comparable layout and you can see it in spaces like your walkways and they have an extra big island kitchen here with tons of storage. The storage in this kitchen is absolutely tremendous. This entire thing is pure storage. Now the part that I loved was right over here. They actually have a spot for a trash can and it is so hard to find that in travel trailers. Uh, this has a larger 8 cubic foot refrigerator and freezer versus a 6 that you normally find in travel trailers. In English, it's 33% larger. It means you're going to spend more time on your campsite, less time away from the family at the grocery store. Again, pure storage everywhere you look in the kitchen. That is one thing I've noticed in their fifth wheels or travel trailers. Everything has good storage like this. This is a thin door that would be hard to reach back in, so they make the storage come to you. I call it the perfect pantry because it's exactly what it should be. It's easy and it's, it's smarter that way. And even these cabinets, I mean, you can see how deep and thick these are. These go almost up to my elbow right here. All solid surface countertops. And with the, uh, the sink covers right here, you see that you can use this entire thing like counter space. Now what's neat is they hit little power outlets on the side right here. So if you need to turn this into griddle country, you can do that. And in case you're wondering, this is true Cory and it does have the seal. Um, let's uh, move over into the bunkhouse space. Now, I've seen a lot of different bunkhouses and models like this. This one was really impressive to me. This uh, bunk over here does flip up uh, so that during the day you kind of have a bit of a lounge here. Uh, what is about 300 pound rated. Now each bed space generally has not one, but two LED little spotlights here. Um, 250 pounds on the upper bunk, by the way. Now uh, your uh, lower dinette here, uh, that can turn into a bunk if need be. You simply remove the pedestal down here. And I love, check this out, easy access storage uh, to the, uh, the little space below the bunks. If the kids are sitting here and you need to get something, you don't have to have them get up, get out of the chairs. You can just reach down there and get it. Now this whole section here is pure cargo storage and this is prepped for a TV that you could mount against the wall right there. We do have full central air and heat through the entire coach so that every zone stays comfortable. Bedroom, bathroom, living room, bunks back here. Now this is an extra big bunk up top so if you have a bigger kid they're probably going to call that spot. But even this down here, can uh, you can remove these pillows and use this like an extra bunk space. You see the little faux headboard kind of hidden back there actually. And check this out. These pair of big, big drawers right here under that sofa. And if there isn't enough storage in here already, they decided, heck, why not? Let's throw in just a little more. And this is a huge cabinet. I mean, this, this is big. I, it goes a lot further than you realize back there. It's very, very big. And again, nicer hidden hinge cabinetry everywhere. And I love the wood plank flooring. I love that look. I always have, I like wood. It's very warm. Um, you know, it's just, it has a lot of character to it. All of your windows open for ventilation, even the ones in the sides of the windows here. Um, 
Let's see, skylight in the kitchen, skylight right here above the kitchen. That's going to give you a lot of extra light, uh, you know, ambient light, so you don't have to burn up your power and everything. Now, your uh, TV here in the living room does come included. Uh, your stereo does everything. It's AM, FM, CD, it's DVD enabled. And you have a Bluetooth enabled sound bar up here. Instead of a surround sound system, a lot of people are going to a sound bar because what they found is the surround sound system in an RV sounds really cool. It's like the idea is awesome, right? But when the speakers are everywhere, you can't hear anything. If you think about it, most of the time you're exposed to surround sound as in a movie theater when you're not talking to the person next to you. If you're trying to have a conversation with the person next to you, surround sound's terrible. You have to scream at them. But a sound bar, the sound all comes from one direction. It's easy to hear when it all comes from one direction because you can sort out what sound is coming from where. Uh, nice coat closet right when you walk in the door, which is exactly where you need one. And I like that it has like almost this little built-in dip drawer down here. Good for like gloves and hats and stuff. We have a hidden control center, so the, uh, if the grandkids come over, they don't know where this is to push buttons on your water heater. But all four of your slide buttons are located here. Awning, awning lights, everything is here, easily labeled, easily used. That's I, I like a lot of the stuff. And these switches, backlight, although the sunlight's shining right on it, so it's hard to see right now. Um, let's uh, move forward into the bedroom and bathroom spaces. Now, one thing I like to point out, and you can see it when you stand right here, if you're in the bedroom and have the door closed, you can get to the bathroom from over here. If you're in the living room with bunkhouse and want to get to the bathroom, you can get to it from here. You don't have to ever disturb anyone. You don't have to walk past each other. Um, this has nicer porcelain stool, not a plastic stool. It does have a nice foot flush. Um, the uh, big deep medicine cabinet here. If you know, it doesn't sound like anything fancy. But with no medicine cabinet, you have to leave all of your stuff, your toothbrush, your shavers, all that stuff on this around the sink or in the sink and. It's a pain in the neck. Now we have a, uh, a nicer fifth wheel shower here, not a travel trailer tub. And because this coach, I told you outside, is extra tall, this is seven foot tall inside. The average camper is like 6'3 or 6'6. Six, six. Tall campers are 6'9. And this is three inches taller still. This is seven foot tall. And they use every square inch of space they can. You know, this they uh, with the entertainment center on the corner, they do kind of cut this cabinet off. But instead of leaving it empty, they still put a cabinet there. Something is always better than nothing. And they give you every square inch possible in these things. And again, because this is extra tall, I can stand right here in this shower. And you can see my head's not even coming close to being in the skylight. Super tall interiors. I love that. <clears throat> Up here in the bath or bedroom, this is a full... 80 inch true queen bed queen sheets will actually fit this which is not common in a lot of travel trailers there is storage under the bed it does lift up you see we have an extra large nightstand over here we have another nightstand on the other side now in case you're wondering yes there are power outlets up here on both sides of the bed they hide them under the cabinet so that it's not an unsightly scar on your wall so if you uh, what i like is these uh cabinets right here these headboards are right next to where your head would be. So if you have a CPAP machine, you don't have to have like an extension cord or anything like that. And even these wardrobes over here are extra large. But what's amazing is that's not even the bulk of the storage in this thing. You have your fourth slide out over here, this entire wardrobe slide. Check this thing out. This entire wall over here. Oh shoot, you gotta take a look at me. How you doing folks? Say, stay in school or else you have to, no, I'm joking. I actually went to school. <laughs> So this whole thing here is just pure storage. If you've ever been in a fifth wheel and you see that big front wardrobe closet, that's exactly how big this is. It's just elevated. Now, because it's elevated, you can actually use the bottom of it like a shelf instead of having to you know, crawl on your hands and knees to get there. But what's really cool is what's on this side over here. If you notice, you have extra like wardrobe space and whatnot right here, extra cubby holes, extra everything. Every part of an open range is always about having extra everything, and that's what I like about them. They're extra wide, they're extra tall, they have extra features. They, uh, you know, they use extra good awning motors. The awning motors are better quality. They do everything a step above. I love that. You know, um, it, there's no sense in paying a dollar to get 89 cents a bang for your buck. With an open range, you might be paying a buck 25, but you get a buck 25 out of it. That's what I like about them. So give us a call, 800-256. 5196. Halo RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this. Take care. Stay safe. Go have some fun. Happy camping.